how to add Calendly in Canva website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can add your Calendly booking or your Calendly appointment program into your Canva website. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit Calendly.com. Then if you have already an account, you're going to sign in into your account. And if not, it is very easy to sign up. Right there, I have the platform and the account is already in use. So we're going to set a meeting, for example, or an appointment, or let's go ahead and create an event. How we can do that, simply go ahead and click on create. But before I proceed to the creation of the event, I highly recommend you to visit right there the uh right there the settings and then setting up your payment methods and also the uh, multiple sources of the meetings for example zoom google meets and etc so you're going to set or create the event here we have three type of events the event type which is the normal one regular scheduled events one of meeting and a meeting poll Go ahead and use or choose whatever suits you will, then you are going to set it. For example, I will set off a one-off meeting. Now, here we have the new one-off meeting, we have the calendar, we have the year and also the month. Go ahead and set the availability of yours and then we are going to set the duration. For example, the duration will be only 15 minutes. Now, for the times, here we have the availability. I can add times to this day and also for tomorrow. I will go ahead and add, for example, let's say times to first day, which is today. I'm going to add times. Here, it will go ahead and bulk set the, uh, the availability of yours. Here we have 15 minutes every hour. Here we have it. You can go ahead and select and delete the times that you are not going to be available. For example, I will go ahead and delete all of this part. I am not available in it, like this one. And here we have it. So, for example, and from the morning, I will go ahead and delete that because we have passed that time. At this moment, I'm going to let this only part, like this one. And for the Friday, you can go ahead and set the Friday from 9 right there to, uh, to the 5. And here we have it. This is the time selected. You can see all of the times that has been selected for uh, this day and also tomorrow. You can uh, select any of these specific ones, add or delete. After you have set that, you're going to set the time zone. Go ahead and set the time zone. Then you are going to click on next. Now we have the events that you can see here. We have selections and here we have the event details. It is called a meeting or you are going to call, for example, something one of meeting. I'm going to put Jack's like that. Jack's daily consultation. Consultation like that. Consultation. And here we have it. The location you are going to set the options. As I have told you before, we have Google Meets, Microsoft Team, WebEx, go to meeting and etc. And also you can put a physical location, but I highly recommend you to put only the online one because you will not get the right time to consult only 15 minutes in a physical place. So you can set, for example, the Zoom, then you are going to connect your account of Zoom, phone call, you are going to set the phone call or in meeting. Now for the optional settings, you can set the reserve times and etc. You're going to click on share meeting link after you have created that event specially. Then here we are going to copy that link. We have the link. Now we are going to head over Canva. Go to Canva like this and then you are going to select your website. If you can't find your website from here on the home page, you are going to click on projects. From projects right there, we have some filters. Go ahead and click on category and then you are going to slide or scroll down a little bit until we see website. Click on website and it will let you see all of the website that you have been creating. So I will go ahead and use one of the websites like that. Simply go ahead and click on it. And then we have the page of the website itself. So 
Now we can add the Calendly link. So we are going to click on Add a Design. Select the page that you want to add that specific uh, for their design. For example, I'm going to put it right there up there. And I'm going to add a text. For this text, I'm going to set a heading, book a meeting, like that. So we are going to set it like this to the middle. Select all of this. I'm going to set a font or a custom font to make it a little bit fancy maybe. So we are going to see chunk five what it will make or it doesn't matter for the color. Go ahead and choose whatever uh, color suits you. And then we're going to click on apps. Click on apps right there on the left side bar. On the search on Canva apps, we are going to set embed. Like that, click on embed and here we have the official app. Click on it and then we are going to type the website that we or the link that we have uh, been given from Calendly. Click on add to design and wait for a few seconds and boom. As you can see, it will be loading up the meeting. Here we have the site of Calendly and here we have it. Now I'm going to wait until it will be adding the website correctly. So wait for it, give it a little bit of time to load up and boom. So right there, the uh, position of that, I'm going to put it here forward. And here we have it, boom. We have the page like that. Book a meeting, for example, like this. And here we have it. This is a fully functional page or a widget from Calendly. You can go ahead and set it like this. And boom. So all you have to do is to click on publish website like that. Then we need to click on republish if you have already published the website. Then we are going to see the website itself and how this integration will be. So we are going to click on view website. And now we have the website published. So we are going to scroll down a little bit until we see the Calendly integration. And boom, there we have it. So Jack's daily consultation, there we have it. You can book a meeting, click on it. And here it will let you see the time that I am going to be available. For example, this uh, widget is scrollable. I'm going to use, for example, this one. Click on next. And here we have the details to enter. Name, email, you can add guests because I have permitted to add guests. This is a fully customizable and also optional. You can go ahead and uh, deactivate this feature or disable it. And here we have some, for example, notes, and then you are going to click on schedule the event and boom, here we have it. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.